across the country, this is that new normal, that unpredictability, the large explosive growth fires. Sadly, scenes like this are becoming the new normal worldwide. As the large explosive growth fires. Sadly, this is that new normal, that unpredictability, the large explosive growth fires. Sadly, scenes like this are becoming... This is that new normal, that unpredictability, the large explosive growth fires. Sadly, scenes like this are becoming the new normal worldwide as temperatures rise due to climate change. In Greece, experts say extreme summer heat accelerated the suspected arson fire that turned these iconic whitewashed hillsides black with ash. The flames rose so quickly until the winds kicked up last night. <laughs> The devastation is beginning to set in for people in Redding, California. The aptly named car fire, which officials say was first sparked by a vehicle, has ravaged the region since Monday and doubled in size in just the last 12 hours. It's taken out a lot. Deadly and out of control, it has charged some 45,000 acres as firefighters try to contain it. Wow. In some neighborhoods, the difference between a home spared and a home scorched is just a few feet. In some neighborhoods, the difference between a home spared and a home scorched is just a few feet. No idea what we're going to do tomorrow. Hell, we don't know what we're going to do tonight. Du In some neighborhoods, the difference between a home spared and a home scorched is just a few feet. No idea what we're going to do tomorrow. Hell, we don't know what we're going to do tonight. Dominic Galvin and his wife Sylvia never imagined they'd see their house like this. We didn't think the fire was going to come in, so we didn't really take things out. Like everybody else that was scrambling at the last minute to get out when we saw the fire on the ridge. Officials say extreme temperatures and strong winds make this fire all the more fierce. It is one of How to change the weather on purpose. That's right. Lasers now could one purpose. That's right. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain. Lasers now could one day lasers now could one day manipulate rain. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Professor, nice to see you. Extraordinary seeing Al Gore and Bill Clinton there together with Charlie, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. yeah. They did not get into this discussion, no. though. <laughs> but it is fascinating. I mean, lasers, really, to change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. This is potentially a game changer. But this is experimental. It's experimental. However, in the laboratory so far it works. When you have water vapor and you have dust particles or ice crystals, you can precipitate rain. It condenses around the seeds. These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions, and these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. Katie, go ahead. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics, that the USSR had used this after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, w did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War, to wash out the CIA, used this to uh, bring down monsoons during now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong. Governments have been playing the now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to
operationally it works uh, just like a laser pointer. Um, there's a chamber inside with special materials that release photons. If you're looking at a, a, a boat coming in over of the water, you can target exactly the engine and take out exactly the engine and not necessarily damage anything else. So, and that type of precision, anything else. So, and that, and not necessarily damage anything else. Got exactly the engine and not necessarily exactly the engine and take out exactly the engine and not necessarily damage anything else. So, and that type of Target exactly the engine and take out exactly the engine and not necessarily damage anything else. You can target exactly the engine and take out exactly the engine and not necessarily damage anything else. So, oh, and that type of engine and take out exactly the engine and not necessarily damage anything else. So, and that type of precision weapon work is, is something that you don't really get with conventional weapons because there's, there tends to be more collateral damage. It's useful against a variety of threats, surface or air. It's not a, it's not a niche weapon system like uh, some other weapons that we have you know, throughout the military where it's only good against air contacts or it's only good against surface targets. One of the scariest things about wildfires, what you're looking at right now, that is a fire NATO. One of the big problems in fighting those wildfires out in California right now. So the question becomes, what's going on with them? They kind of look like a twister of fire, and that's because that's exactly what they are. And I'll tell you, I know personally, to be standing when one perks up is frightening, and they're tough to fight, but how do they form? Lucky for us, Andrew Peterson is here to explain. Tell us, science. One of the biggest things that actually causes the fire NATO, Chris, has to do with the dry brush. When you talk about the fire season, you want to think about the drought conditions. This has been one of the worst drought conditions in many recent years in Southern California. So what do you have? You have all this available brush out there, right? So let's talk about that. I'm going to show you a little animation here. Fires, they have like their invisible circulation already on the ground. So that's the concern. So you kind of have this little eddy out here. Then that eddy picks up all this dry brush. What is brush? It releases carbon, right? We know that's combustible. You typically don't see it because there's no oxygen inside this entire tunnel. But once it gets all the way to the top, you have all that available oxygen, so you see the entire thing engulfed in flames. And that's what that long line is that we now know is a fire NATO. Here is the problem. You cannot directly put these out in a firefight. You have to actually fight the fire around it because it's that invisible combustion of gas. Here's the other problem. They can shoot up even a thousand meters high and jump the fire lines. And so with question of gas. Here's the other problem. They can shoot up even a thousand meters high and jump the fire lines. The other problem. They can shoot up even a thousand meters high and jump the fire lines. And so with the other problem. They can shoot up even a thousand meters high and jump the fire lines. And so with that, you have that huge concern of seeing those fire lines even spread further than what you can. The other problem. They can shoot up even a thousand meters high and the other problem they can shoot up even a thousand meters high and jump of gas here's the other problem they can shoot up even a thousand meters high and jump the fire lines and so with that you have that huge concern of seeing those fire lines even spread further than what you can expect and they can have damaging winds as high as 120 miles per hour that's like the equivalent of an ef2 tornado the good news michaela is One of three major blazes burning across the state and one of 88 across the country. This is that new normal, that unpredictability, the large explosive growth fires. Sadly, scenes like this are becoming the new normal worldwide as temperatures rise due to climate change. In Greece, experts say you you only have minutes to leave but in this case people really were caught off guard. This started as a small brush fire on Monday. It stayed that way until the winds kicked up last night. 
<laughs> the devastation is beginning to set in for people in Redding, California. The aptly named car fire, which officials say was first sparked by a vehicle, has ravaged the region since Monday and doubled in size in just the last 12 hours.